I'm at Glastonbury. It is ridiculously hot, by the way. What I'm going to find out, though, is this just one big party where people are just, you know, overdoing it a bit, listening to some music, that's the lot, or is there something more profound going on? So I want to talk to some of the people behind a lot of the events, the discussions that are going on here, but also I want to explore some of the naughtier sides of Glastonbury. I think it's a good place for people to be able to openly share their political views. Yeah. It's a very positive place. Yeah. Um, and I feel quite like inspired when I'm here. I'm in left field, run by the iconic Billy Bragg, and I think it only makes sense we step in and have a little chat. Obviously, Glassmead was set up to be not just a festival where people go out, have a laugh. What do you want them to get out of this? The slogan, if you look on the front, is recharge your activism. And that's what ah, we're I trying like to it. get people to come along, uh -huh. to hear some great music, to hear some speakers, to get fired up. Great to see you, Cheers, 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 Cheers. Yeah, nice one. Cheers, Thank you. Tomorrow, there are two more debate sessions in the left field at 12 and 1.30. Uh, <laughs> hey! How's it going? How you uh, doing? Good well. to see you. You're right. Put it on that way. Okay, it's that's better. a bit more pacifist. Highs it, I like it. Um, what were you just chatting about? What's going on? Uh, we were touching, 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 touching. We were chatting about um, climate emergency. Uh, yeah. In that meeting today, there were signs of hope. Increasingly, people get it. But the danger is, I think, too many people in Parliament are still addicted to this system. And now I can party because I'm finished. Woo! Yeah, thanks, Owen. Yeah, Fazi, we have to sit the show you because it's actually excruciatingly yeah. unbearably hot. It's like melt, like you're going to melt hot. There is that sense of younger people going, do you know what, we want something very different. And do you feel that in Glasgow? It's a bit of why this time is simultaneously the worst of times and the best of times, because uh, you see the speakers coming through, you see Stormzy and his politics, that there are this younger generation coming through that have had enough and we're just doing it for ourselves. Yeah, I think on this would be great. We are working on the Extinction Rebellion yeah. um, project. Right. I have no artistic ability at all. This is kind of a, a response to like fashion and using our bodies as a space for political expression rather than a space that's completely colonised by capital. I've really kind of discovered my very repressed artistic Flair. Like frugality is like a thing that um, exists like a, like a lost skill. The previous generations were brought up with rationing and they know how to make dinner out of old leeks and we really need to get a lot better at doing that. This is the mum of my producer mate but also in her own right I am Bridget McConville. Today and every other day we've been at the Parlay Parlour. Love it. It's extremely hot in there. Yeah, yeah I can Hot imagine. topic, hot conversation. A whole range of really interesting women talking about our bodies, our rights, um, including Jess Phillips, which is why it's a particularly busy day today. Our, our motto here, as in Shangri-La, is don't be a dick. Yeah, just don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. Who wants an ice cream? Thanks, mate. There we go. So I'm about to go to the naughty corner where people are a little bit naughty at night. But I'm going to find out, is it all just a bit of a rave or are there some subliminal messages going on? Wow. Shangri-La is the furthest corner from the rest of the festival, really. Right. We go late at night, right. all through the night. Let's have a look at this. Yeah. So we've changed the leave no trace to don't be a dick. I love don't be a dick. I just think as a philosophy, the world would be a better place if that was our guiding sort of thing. No, yeah, exactly. So what do we mean by don't be a dick? Don't leave your rubbish on the yeah. after the festival. That basically. is dickish, isn't it? Yeah. There are a load of different artists and activists working in this space. Oh yeah, look so at this. So we're getting people to interact and create stuff. Hello mate. This is Dom, how this is Dom, how are you mate? Hello. We started printing the Paris 68 posters. Amazing. Uh, because we were looking through the book and going, these are all still relevant. We yeah. printed six turned into 12, turned into 20. 50 years have gone past and nothing's really changed. Yeah. But we're still facing the same kind of problems. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good so Transmissions is an organisation of trans rights activists. And we are in the midst of a massive anti-trans campaign at the moment. Visibility means we're also more unsafe because yeah. we're not in the shadows anymore. Let's go do the manifesto quick. There's lots of things here uh, to stop the mass murder and harm done, particularly to trans women of colour. 
uh, and uh, to fight on behalf of our queer ancestors. Do you go? What do you want to get out of Glastonbury when you leave on Monday? What will be your kind of like? This was a success. I just had loads of boys here from Liverpool. Bye bye, cross Scally lads coming in, and you know they wouldn't give me the time of day up there. But yeah, they're in a different mindset, and they want to learn experiment. And they're getting pictures and posting them on Instagram with fun trans women for your gay rights in the background, and and trans protests there. And I think that's incredible to reach people that we would we'd never reach them anywhere else. Oh my God, yeah, what is this? Oh, do you want me to put that on now? Yes. I think so. We're very excited to have on the mic tonight, Owen Jones. What's going on? Why am I on the mic? Comrades, sisters, brothers, I'm here to change, take on the mainstream narrative. It's a great honour to be here. Everyone needs to keep fighting and I hope the spirit of Glastonbury is to get drunk and have a great time, but also to struggle against injustice. Bye. <laughs> Good. Uh, this, is, um, this is Icon and this represents ourselves staring at smartphones, staring into the digital... Oh, sorry, one second. I was just... <laughs> <laughs> so you're just texting. <laughs> yeah, precisely. And we've invited um, a bunch of thinking artists, people whose music is kind of responding to exactly the phenomenon that we're talking about. So some cynical so-and-sos out there might just go, well, it's just a rave. Well, good for them. They can enjoy it as a rave, but, you know, there's content and meaning in every different level of everything that we do. And, uh, you know, there's a hell of a lot to explore. So NYC Download is basically Glastonbury's first gay club. And it's been here since 2007. This is somewhere where queer people come as well. This is where you're welcome. And this is where your culture and your music and, and your identity is celebrated and, um, you know, special. Yeah, come on. Come Look at these stuff. hot pieces of meat. Hot pieces of meat. Hot pieces of meat. Not not hot pieces of meat. They're not real pieces of meat, but we have got real pieces of meat. We'll oh. be dancing around a bit later. Oh, oh, this way, guys. Oh, there's the back room. Mm. It's really dark, you're not going to be able to see Mark. No. <laughs> uh, that's oral corner. Right, cool. This is kind of like a bit more um, manual kind of area. I think because I Have think Have they washed a... it since last night? Does it smell like it's been washed? It doesn't... It doesn't smell bad, it does it? It doesn't smell bad, no. It's yeah. only one night, though. One night. Yeah. yeah. This is a permissive atmosphere where the dancing's great. It's about dancing, it's about good music, it's about getting off with people. Hot. It's about saying, who gives a fuck? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's what it's about. That's well, the atmosphere. And as I say, because the community from East London are here, because we're all here and we love it, you know, and the DJs are loved and they're kind of like DJs here who are part of kind of like the, the queer music history, you know, it has a really special vibe. It's, 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 it's authentic. These are pretty tumultuous times. It kind of feels a bit relentless occasionally. So it is pretty important I think to sometimes escape it and I do think that a lot of people feel that sense of relief but as well as being a party as well as being something about music and being with your friends and being part of a kind of collective sense that people have here there is also a more profound side and I do think as well that that motto of don't be a dick is something we can take out of Glastonbury and maybe just run with a little bit more but probably just gonna go watch Kylie now